Good morning, We're guys. We're going shopping with Sophia dressed like that, and you dressed like that. Welcome to today's video. You guys are a little bright. Let me adjust here. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm so excited for today. But before we can get started, I have to tell you about the disaster. No! The farm disaster that happened yesterday. Also, Sophie was sleepwalking Mom. last night. I'm not going to show them. And I videoed it. Oh, so funny. Back in the day when Gabby was a little girl, she used to sleepwalk all the time, and I used to sleepwalk, and Gabby was the funniest kid. So funny. I would fight my father. Yeah, she would fist fight us. She would like Hi. talk crazy things. I pee on dead socks. Sophie pees everywhere. She pees on Sam's socks. She I fight she mom. fought me. I tried to direct her to her room one night and she tried to kill me. I take apart dead stone. But last night was so funny. I videoed it and I was awake for that. Yeah, you were kind of awake, but you were not quite, you were not really awake. You were still sleeping. Kind of out of it, but kind yeah. of sleeping. Anyway, let's go down and show them the disaster. Okay, I don't know. Oh! Yeah, mom disaster. Yesterday, when we were down in the barn, I, the water was frozen. The water tap where we water our horses was frozen. So, since we were going to stay down there, and I was filling grain and we were going to be there for a while I decided to open the tap all the way so that I could see if it would unthaw by the time we were done in the barn and then I said to the girls remind me that I have the tap open did they remind me no so by the time I was done grain I forgot about the tap so then I went shopping with Nick and did all the running around that I had to do and I came home and when I came home I noticed that the horses were acting strange they were in the back part of the uh, the field and they're never there oh no they're always there no they're never there and I was looking at them so I came inside and I said girls Boo! go down and let's uh, feed the horses lunch okay go feed the horses lunch because they seem oh, off so I'm taking it out to lunch and said there was nothing a problem but the horses were clearly acting odd and that's the thing you gotta trust your instincts I thought they were acting odd the whole entire day we finished the entire day went to the barn and then Sam came home with a load of hay and he said the whole barn flooded yeah it's my fault let's see oh oh Idiot. this wasn't there when we put out hay so it's just a little yeah it's wet though holy cow but it's not like super icy. Mom, this was always here. Yeah, this was always here. No, but this was not always there. So yeah, that just that he made it sound like it was a disaster. He's like, it's not gonna be safe for them. It's gonna be so bad. And, whoa. And I'm like, yeah, this is nothing. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, that is a good idea, Sophie. Putting a little bit of hay, like all this old stuff that I have to clean up on top of it will kind of give it some. Well, good job, Sophie Doodle. Don't call me that. <laughs> She's not a baby anymore. But anyway, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm excited for I need this day more than anything ever. Oh, Sky, how are you, my love? I can't believe it's a week and a half until we have a show. I'm not ready. Like, you know how much you have to get ready to, for a show. We're not even close to being ready. It's gonna be crazy. Are you excited to show? Look at our arena's turned into this. It's, it's a swamp. All the froggies can Yeah, it's terrible, but it's all right. We will clean it. It's not that bad. The first ever bug I've seen in ages. You saw my, a bug? Was my pet. Oh, she had a spider in her room. Yeah, he was on my room. So tell them about what happened last night when you were sleepwalking. It was so funny. I couldn't find that room. No. I couldn't find my room. <laughs> you just wanted to sleep. My room wasn't there. It just disappeared. So I was laying in bed chatting on my phone and all of a sudden I heard Sophia stomp down the stairs and I was like, oh, well she's sleepwalking. When she wakes up, it's because she has to go to the washroom and usually she's so deep in asleep that she can't find the bathroom. So she went downstairs, turned around, came back up, went to the bathroom and I expected her to go back to bed. And she kind of was trying to go back to bed, huh? 
Yeah, I was in your bed. So then she comes to my room and she's like, move over, I need to go to bed. And I'm like, well, but why? Like, why are you in my bed? And she said, she said, because I need to lay, I need to sleep. And you lay down to sleep, everybody does it. <laughs> it was so funny, get I videoed it. Get with the times, it. mom. Get with the times, like, what do you, why, why do you expect that I'm trying to get in your bed? I need to sleep. Anyways, she did climb back in her own bed in a huff. When I said, Sophie, you gotta go in your own bed. Yeah, she got mad and she's like, stop videoing me! But yeah, she was like so, it was so funny. All right, let's let these babies out. Oh, I probably will. Mommy, you have to go Grace. They got Gracie? Yeah. Gracie, it's you and me. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? Can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop Time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. You didn't give her a treat. Oh, baby! <laughs> this is my main girl. This is my baby. Gabby's girl. main squeeze. Mom, this is my baby girl. That's yeah. the girl in the process of our new barn search, Sam has brought up a couple times that we can get rid of our girl horses and just board the boys and have like a different kind of farm facility. And I was like, no way. No I, way would I ever take those I ponies away. away. No, I would never. And, and Willow loves this place and loves Sophie and she's so comfortable here. Never. So the girls are having a snowman competition. Can you guess which one's mine? Well, are you standing in front of it? Yes. Giving it away. Can you guys see? They Mine made snowmans. Head. When did you do this? Sophie's has a Yesterday. head. Yesterday you did this? Four, three, and one. Sophie's eat Gabby's eating her snowman. Okay, yeah. So in Canada, you never go hungry because there's always snow. <laughs> always food, yeah, even in winter. Well, never thirsty. Did you guys see in the video yesterday I caught didn't catch it. I caught yeah. Sophie throwing I caught Sophie throwing a snowball at Gabby in the background. Mm. It was epic. <laughs> Let's go. Sophie's coming into her own a lot more now and is like more. She stands up for herself more. Says what she needs more. I don't like the way snow tastes. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we've walked on it. It's uh, acid no, snow. It new snow. How do you know a bunny didn't pop by and pee on it? Because it was not bothered to snow. Mom. Uh -huh. Oh, Gabby! <laughs> so tell them what happened, Gabby. The plague is here. The plague is in Canada. What happened? I was checking plane during Canadian evacuate from China arrives. Yeah, so basically where we live. Yeah, they brought the cor corona. Virus. virus too close to us like to our area to our area that's what they did they brought them all here like all along i was like i'm not worried it's in china it's in like big cities we live in a small city well they brought them all to our city they brought them here all the people that were in china that were canadian citizens that wanted out they transferred them to our area and they have them in quarantine in our area where sam works so basically if any of the people like servers like they're staying in a hotel in our area so if any of them like say a server delivers food to them or takes their plates and they get sick and then like it's so hard to contain a virus like that so yeah I it's, it's in our area it makes me worry worried because i tend to have a really good immune system but sam does not I don't know if you guys noticed, but the last couple of weeks, it just seems like we've been out of the house every single day and no time to do the things we need to do and just kind of chill. So with the chiropractor and the farrier and lessons and just everything, it just seems, and camp, 
there's actually a, a horse camp going on today and it's the first one our kids haven't gone to in a long time it's because our school board is striking all the time has random strike days but we still need to do our school and we needed a catch-up day so badly so i'm just getting ready to do our read together and yeah you're taking forever i know i am i'm having some oranges she eggs. <laughs> and eggs um yeah and sophie got this thing on the weekend let's see turn it around she got this pom-pom back backpack clips and she's gonna make some of them while I read. And they're super cute. Yeah, they are so super cute. We also are having a pajama day. I have leggings on. Sophie's got pajama bottoms on. Gabby is like her dad. She doesn't ever have this relaxed normal, clothes. Comfy outfit. Yeah, she just wears jeans all the time. And crop tops. Gabby just said she's gonna color while I read. I wanna color too. Have you ever had those days where you just wanna like snuggle in and cuddle and just like have a rest that's how, that's how i feel today okay. that's what we're gonna get done i was able to do some cleaning i just we just needed a day like this so so badly taking care of our dogs i want to cut their nails like we just needed a day at home i'm doing the fox because it's i love it and it's already half done oh it's so cute so how do you oh my, i love the white pump okay so what do you have to do now you have to sew I'm gonna figure it out. All right, good. You figure it out while I read, okay? Okay. All right, life is over. Life is over, you guys. I'm a little dramatic. It's not over. I fell down the stairs. I fell down the stairs, and it's it's bad. It's really bad. Oh, Sam was home. Adrenaline is still pumping, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up from the pain. I hurt my arm really bad. Oh. Oh, it's the worst thing when you get hurt. Never, I feel like no, I God is you. trying to tell me something. God's trying to tell me something that this is not my life or something. Like before we moved and before we had horses, I've never, ever, ever been hurt. I've never been, I've never been in so much pain. Woo. I feel like everything's swelling. Okay, so now we are at the hospital. Yeah, that, that's it. Like can't even believe my luck you guys this is so frustrating and so annoying to me I they're gonna x-ray my shoulder my collarbone my collarbone my shoulder and my wrist basically I hurt my arm I banged it into the basement wall I fell down the stairs and smashed my shoulder into the basement wall and it pushed it back really really far and then when I hit the bottom of the stairs the pain was so excruciating that I almost passed out and I felt like I was gonna vomit like I hate injuries like they you know I'm so up all the time that when something takes me down it sometimes really affects me just for a short time but yeah that's at the stage I'm at right now it's amazing though I always believe that when you get hurt or when something bad happens to you that God always sends somebody, usually four people, but God always sends somebody to make things more bearable for you. And the lady that did the triage here, the nurse was like literally the best person on earth. Like I loved her. Like I wanted to ask her to come and hang out with us. Like she's such an amazing woman. So that is person number one. Okay, so now we're in the green room. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm hopeful. I took Tylenol before we left. At first, I thought I would just be able to stay home and have a hot bath and just soak things. It's my wrist that's aching the worst, but I don't understand why, because I don't really feel like I broke my wrist. I don't know, but there's nobody here. All right, we are home and nothing is broken. So nothing is broken. There's some definite tissue damage in there. It hurts like a heck. Not as bad now because I took some Tylenol when we first got there or just before we left. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks. That's so kind of you. I never go to the hospital unless it's like bad. And it was so bad, you guys. Like, I can't even believe how much pain I was in. Mom, could you Everything. Breathe? Oh, yeah. I was like almost gagging. I was like almost blacked out. Like, it was so bad. Yeah, that's why I wish oh. it was me instead of you. Because oh. we don't break, you do. I know. But yeah. See, you saved a lot. Aww. Sophia's like the sweetest daughter. When I get hurt though, I I always suck it up and I always just heal on my own. Like, 
I do. This was this was different, you guys. This was so bad. She says that if it doesn't get better, go to physio because obviously there's damage in there. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry there wasn't much of a vlog. It was a crazy day. Everything happens for a reason. I don't know exactly what it is yet, but I'm not used to pain. It's not, and I definitely could see how people that are in pain I all the very time. Much used to pain. People who have chronic pain, how much it must drain on you. Because it was so hard for me to just shake it off. It's hard to be in pain. So yeah. God bless any of you guys who are having chronic pain. I know a couple of you actually are. And it breaks my heart. See you guys tomorrow. Do you guys want to know how much pain I've been in today? How much pain have you been in? when I walk to do something. So I was walking to grab something and I went like this and I went like that with my hand right there. Oh. And then I did that, like I hurt myself multiple other times today. It's crazy. That is crazy, but this was really bad though. I do turn. Ow. You never know how it's gonna be when you get hurt. I'm a vocal person, you guys. I was for sure screaming. <laughs>